the shade uh, Creme Cra Creme Carve. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you the fourth update for the Girl Fix Your Face project created by Rachel who I'll have linked down below. Let's start off by jumping into the products I was using last update. We'll just roll through all the products I've used since then. Just a reminder, this project is where you work on items that fit within these categories. 23 times each before rolling them out and rolling in a new product. First up for highlighter, I was still working on the highlighter shade in this Revolution Emily Edit palette and we were working on the shade Gratitude which is this one down here. I had to use it an additional three times since the last update to hit my 23 uses and this one rolled out. Then we rolled in the highlighter from this Australis Take Me On Tour palette. It's the second shade in this palette so it's this one right here and I did manage to use it 23 times and this one also rolled out. Then we rolled in this um, Unicorn Dust Strobing Palette. It's from the brand Beauty Essentials. And we rolled in the first shade within this palette. So this is this bright white highlighter. That's what it looks like right there. And I have used it 20 times since the last update. So this one is staying in the project for another three uses. Then for bronzer, we were working on the shade from the Emily Edit palette as well. And that is the shade Courage, this one just up here. I did need to use it an additional five times to reach my 23 uses since the last update and it has rolled out. We then rolled in the Astralis Take Me On Tour palette and we rolled in this bronzer shade down here and I have used it the 23 times so this one also rolled out. Then we moved on to a cream bronzer. This is from Made by Mitchell. It is the blurish liquid blusher technically but the colour is a lot more like a bronzer and it's in the shade Creme Carve. This is the bronzer I'm wearing today here on my cheeks and that is my 23rd use. So this one is rolling out and we will be rolling in a new bronzer later in this video. Then for powder, coming out of the last update, we were using the Astralis Take Me On Tour palette and we were using this banana powder right here. We used it an additional 11 times and this one then rolled out of the project, which means this palette actually got some use this year but has rolled out of this project altogether. Then we moved on to the M Co Beauty Invisible Matte Powder. This is what it looks like here. As you'll know, I have just rolled this into my 35 while I'm 35 project, which will have linked up in the cards. And this one I used 23 times, so it is also rolled out. We then rolled in this raw powder. This is in the shade Vanilla 20. And as if you can hear, I did drop this yesterday and the actual powder pan has broken out of the packaging. But overall, there was no damage to the actual powder. But I have used this 14 times since rolling in, so it will be remaining in this project. Then for setting spray, we were working on this I Heart Revolution Chocolate Cherry Spray. We did need to use it an additional 10 times before we hit my 23 uses. And it is now currently all the way down to here. So there is not much left in this product. And I do think this is something I can move out of my collection in 2024. 
The same goes for the next setting spray we rolled in, and this was this W7 Ready Set Glow Hollow. We are now down to here after my 23 uses, and we only have this little bit left to go. So this one will also get used up in the new year. We then rolled in this little deluxe size sample of Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. So far, I've used it 19 times. It was up here when it first rolled in. Now it is down to here. I'm not sure if the additional four uses will get this one used up, but it will definitely be used up very soon. So I still have four uses to go on this setting spray. Then for concealer, we were working on this Maybelline Superstay Concealer. I did already have two uses on it. But unfortunately, I didn't realize it and used it an additional 23 times since the last update. But this one did roll out. We then rolled in this Revlon Candid Banana Concealer. And I did reach my 23 uses on this one. So this one has also rolled out. And we're once again working on the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Before rolling it in, we were down to this little mark just up there. And I have used it five times, but there isn't much use to bother marking it again. So this one still has quite a way to go. Then for blush, we were working on the Milani Tea Rose Blush. We had to use this an additional three times before it hit my 23 uses and could roll out. This blush as well actually um, feels like it is not fully stable within the pan, but I do enjoy this blush overall. We then rolled in this Essence Matte Touch Blush. This is in the shade 20 Berry Me Up. And the packaging is broken, as does tend to happen with Essence blushes and packaging. I used this an additional 23 times. So this one has rolled out. And I can see now with the amount of use I have been getting on it, that the um, embossing has started to wear away. Then we rolled in a liquid blush. This is the Made by Mitchell Liquid Blusher in the shade Melon Sorbet. It is the shade that I'm using today over my nose area. And that was the 23rd use. So this one is rolling out. I did get this one and the other Made by Mitchell Blusher in a Made by Mitchell um, mystery box. If you would like to see that video, make sure you check out the cards. But like I said, this one is rolling out of this project. Then for primer, we were still working on this Hourglass Veil Primer. This was full when I rolled it into this project. Last update, I had 22 uses on it. So I did have to use it one more time before it rolled out. But this one has been used and has rolled out. I really did enjoy this overly fancy primer. Then we moved on to the I Heart Revolution Mint Choc Chip Color Correcting Primer. And this product, as its name suggests, has a real minty scent to it. This is what the product looks like. I have to show you because it is very strange. And it does help with redness. However, it is very, very liquidy, and as you can see, it is very, very messy. It did take me a little while to reach my 23 uses, and that is because I'm working on two other face primers in my Pan More with Feeling project, which I'll obviously have linked up in the cards. But this one has now reached its 23 uses and is rolling out of this project. Now for the three products that we're rolling in during this update. First up, we have a primer, and that is this Becca 
first light priming filter this is a deluxe size sample and i have never used it before this is it right here and this is a decent size tube however from where the light is currently coming in the product only comes up to here so really you don't get much a product in a tube you know you end up with more air than you do product but my goal is to use this 23 times then for blush we are rolling in this oxx quartz blusher this is what the product looks like it is quite a nice dusty rose blush and like always my goal is to use it 23 times we're also rolling in an oxx quartz product for the bronzer this is this one here and my goal for this is also to use it 23 times. So this is my last update before my finale. So we don't have much time to get my uses in on these products. Because of the fact that this is my last update, instead of rolling in new products from my back stock to then hit 23 uses on them, once I hit my goal, my 23 uses, on the current products in this project, we're going to call this project quits and I will let you know how we went in the finale. But back it up, I have just realized there's one product I have not spoken about. And that was my roll-in category, which was the base category, where I've been working on this, and I say that term very loosely, Banana Boat Simple Protect Sensitive Face Tinted Sunscreen. I do not think I have used this product once since the last update. So this one is probably not going to hit its 23 uses. But we are now in the summer season, so maybe I can get my uses done before the finale. But with that all said and done, I'm Verity, this was the fourth update for my Girl Fix Your Face project, and now, to the outro!